Hey guys, Moki here with another video. Today was supposed to be my Wandering Wednesday video, but I actually hit 100 subscribers on YouTube, so this is my 100 sub special. I just wanna say first that I love you guys so much. Thank you all for constantly supporting me, whether that be subscribing, commenting, liking, any of that. Um, it's because of you all that I do what I do. Without you all, Lord knows what I would be doing. But without further ado, let's see if we can get hit 500. I don't know what that was, because <laughs> that was not 500. But let's see if we can hit 500, okay? Because that's like my goal here, my next goal. Now, with that being said, I figured I would do another collection video instead. Um, I'm going to do my coffee mug slash cup collection. This does not include my shot glasses or wine glasses, martini glasses, things of that sort. However, this is any glassware, coffee mug, or like water bottle kind of thing, right? I have quite a few. Um, I'm just going to randomly pick one up and show the screen because there's so many. I don't know what I'm looking at here. Oh, of course. Okay, this is great. My mommy actually just got me this um, a week or so ago. And it's the Disney, the Walt Disney Love is Love Pride mug. And I love it because she always gives me, I say unisex, I don't, unihand, the unihand mugs because I am left-handed and it's hard to find left-handed mugs. But I am good at both, so it's, she gives me the option. You know, I love it. So since I did this one first, I am going to do the other one. You all seen this one in my mukbangs. My love is universal. I did get this last year in 2019 when my fabulous uncle took me to Disney World and Universal Studios in Orlando, Florida. So of course I had to buy their Pride collection as well. And I'll continue down the Pride. <laughs> I did get this. Love comes in every color Walt Disney World. I did get this in Florida. So I got this. I didn't see their mug. Obviously, I would have got their mug, but it's a good thing I didn't because my mommy got it for me. Um, so this is like a water, you know. Right. You've seen this in my mukbangs as well. Love this cup. Water bottle. Whatever you want to call it. Okay. Now, let's throw it back here. Let's throw it back. So let's... Okay, we'll do this one. This one. And me name on it. That's my real name. Um, this is from the Newport Aquarium in Cincinnati. I got this when I was a child. My mom got it for me. So it's very cute because I love, I am the water bearer because I am an Aquarius. Even though I'm an air sign, I'm definitely made to be in the water. And I love water. I love water animals, all that. There's my favorite. Gotta love the penguins, right? Okay, so these have recently been added for Christmas. I think they're both Christmas. Of course, you've seen this one before. You've seen both of them before. I'll just hold them both up. It is my Harry Potter collection. So this is just a Harry Potter glass with the houses. I'm trying to tap on it so you can tell. See, has the houses on it, unopened, not out of the box doubt I will ever use it because it is so pretty. I don't, I don't know if it's damageable and I don't want to damage it. And then of course this one, I can't really tell you about it without reading it. Yeah, so it's just the Harry Potter Constellation travel mug. So this one's an actual mug and it has the, the houses on it, but in the Constellation form, it's so pretty, it's so pretty. I got this for, <laughs> I got this for Valentine's Day one year and never used it, refused to take, I mean, she comes out, but refused to take her out. Just big ass Hershey's chocolate mug, huge. This thing is, I mean, it's huge. You cannot tell, but this thing is gargantuan. I just got this one. Um, this is my baby my rainbow MTV music television, because hello, if you're a 90s baby, you definitely know about that music television life back in the day with MTV. Now it's just reality drama, 
but back in the day when they threw down the music child, that's where it was at and the color is just gorgeous. I use that one all the time. <laughs> um, I got this one. Okay, so my mug collection had to come within like the last year because I got this last year as well. You all have also seen this. This is my, see, this is not unisex. This is left hand only. Um, but my Kentucky Kingdom in Louisville, Kentucky mug, I got it because it is so gorgeous. Look at those colors. The lighting is not doing it justice. I am so sorry. But look at them. Like, oh, good God. I have not drinking out of this. have not done anything because of the inside, right? Like, I don't want to damage the inside at all. This is another baby of mine. Obviously, they're all my babies. Okay, my mommy just got me this. It is so cute. It says, just thinking about stabbing you with my horn, period. Okay, because that's what unicorns do. Don't fuck with us. Okay, so gorgeous. I just got this the other day. Came in the mail and I'm in love with it. I haven't used it yet. I'm not using it. I don't use all of them. I only use like a handful of them. This one's going to be funny because everything that's inside of it. This is my groomsmen cup from way, way back in the day. I was 10 years old when I got this. Um, it's very pretty. It's obviously glass and it just has, has groomsmen and my name on it. It is so old. It even has a crack in the back, so I don't use it no more. I just sit it up. I had a champagne glass with it as well, but it broke. It broke. So I just have my mug left, so I just keep that up for safekeeping. Someone's going to see this, and you're probably thinking this is not special. This is just a McDonald's glass. Um, but that's not true. This is actually, because you can even say, see it says goal. But someone's going to say that says ghoul. No, that says goal. I got this in Honduras in 2018. And that's, of course, how you say goal. So this was my only uh, keepsake as far as dishes go. Because we got this at McDonald's. And I'm like, um, we're getting this glass and it's mine. And dad was like, okay. We use that one all the time. And then I also have my, this is old, as you can tell. I'm so gay, I can't even think straight. I used to drink the fuck out of this cup. <laughs> the fuck. Now it's just um, a keepsake as well. I just put it up for safekeeping. Oh, got it. I was going to say, that's what I'm missing, but I'm not. Then, of course, this came from um, Spencer's. Also, my down to fuck lying they did not come oh my god did they come from spencer's they did not hot topic they came from spencer's both of them i'm so gay i can't even think straight and down to fuck dtf period period okay down to fuck this is another favorite of mine i got this from king's island in cincinnati ohio between 2015 and 2017 i honestly can't remember when me and my friend went but it's so pretty. Okay. It's so pretty because you see the rainbow in it. So you can see it all that. I have not used this either. Just another uh, keepsake that I put up. It's pretty. It's it's like a hard plastic. It's not glass. But I still, I do not use it because I don't know what comes off and what doesn't. Look, let me, let me give you a story. And this is a shot glass story, but this is why I'm so picky with my cups. So I had a shot glass. It was beautiful. It's a black shot glass. I still have it. And it had rainbow male symbols all over it. And I put it in water one day to wash it because I used it and all the paint came off. Cheap ass. And that was from Spencer's. Cheap ass shot glass. So ever since then, I am so picky with what I use because I don't know who's cheap anymore and what paint is willing to come off. Which is why you'll never see me use this because I'm so terrified that this is a cheap paint and it's just going to come right off. I refuse. This um, says my name in rainbow. It's so worn. My auntie got me this for Christmas. I guess 27. Yeah, 2017. I got this for Christmas. She got it for me for Christmas. And I wore, I mean, look, it don't even, it's not even closing. It won't close because I have worn <laughs> the fuck out of this thing. So now it's just also another keepsake. 
but it is so pretty because she made sure to put my name in rainbow and gave me the red because she knows I am going from a UAK fan to a U of L fan. <sighs> Bless her heart. And she's hardcore UAK just like the rest of my family. Now, with that being said, show off my Louisville glassware here. Now, this is actually funny because for Christmas this past year, we did like, what's it called? A Secret Santa. We did Secret Santa. So my uncle got my other uncle and the one uncle could not go shopping for him. So he gave me the money to go shopping for him, but it was from him to him, messy. <laughs> and I saw these and I picked these out for the other uncle because he's a U, U of L U of K fan, just like me. I knew he would love these because he also loves glassware. So it was a four pack. I'm like, oh, that's so fucking, that's so my uncle, like we're getting that, right? So got it and then he gave me half and it's so cute i didn't pick them out he took the ones he wanted and then brought over the ones that he said i could have and i just thought it was so sweet but look how gorgeous yes beautiful and then you got the yes bitch he he did me good thanks Unc. i guess i should thank both y'all and myself because if he never would have gave me the money to go buy for the other one then i wouldn't have bought that and blah, 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 blah. okay See, because I rep both. <laughs> so then here's my UAK mug. I've had this for years too. It's going to sound noisy because I got stuff inside because this is also a keepsake. I don't use this. So I put all of my charms that I have. You see like Honduras and stuff inside here. Sorry, that's so loud. But anyway, it's my UAK cup, my wildcat. Yes, unisex. So that means my mom bought me this. <laughs> she buys me all the unisex ones. I love it excuse me we are down to the wire people i have three left this is another valentine's day one and it's so gorge and you get all monkey and you when you're in the reese's don't ever eat these reese's okay don't if you ever come over to my house do not eat those you'll probably get poisoned and die because this is old it is so old but look how cute and look at i mean it's just gorge right Okay, this one, my little White Castle mug. Um, if you don't have White Castles, you have you have its sister, but don't ask me who the name is. I think it's Crystals. I think something like that. White Castle, real good coffee. This is special to me, and this is mine. Um, it's special to me because my great aunt worked for White Castle literally her entire life until she retired just a couple years ago. And so she always got us um, White Castle gifts, like stuff like this. We have a White Castle. We only have one, which is why I technically don't take it, even though I'm the only one that uses it. But it's a glass like this. Well, actually, it's more like this. Same shape and all, just bigger. And it says White Castle 95 Year Celebration. But this one is mine because we have multiple. That was a Christmas gift one year, and I fell in love. Now this one, this also has stuff in it, so I'm sorry for the noise. This is my hefty, hefty, happy birthday uh, cup. So I drink out of this every year for my birthday. But of course you can't really, I'm sorry. There you go. So it's just cute little rainbow all the way around. Happy birthday on both sides, bitch bottoms up for the birthday. And then of course this is irrelevant, but a special treat. I have my Digimon. Like, I don't know if y'all remember these, but of course, if you're a 90s baby, you do. Like the Digimon hard plastic, little upside down pieces, right? Like, oh, he's upside down, but that's okay. He's upside down too, that's okay. So is he, but those are the only ones I have left because I got these when I was a kid. And those are the only ones I have left. So of course I hold on to them. And these as well. And I know you remember these. These are from Burger King. The the Pokemon Gold, Gold cards that you, you used to come in the uh, Pokeballs and stuff. I literally had one of every Pokemon because I've been a Pokemon fanatic since Pokemon came out in 97, 96, whenever it started. And my mom took me to Burger King every day to get these. And now all I have left are two Poliwhirls and a Togepi. 
And that is my collection, guys. That is all I have as I look around my room, making sure I'm not forgetting any. Because <laughs> you know me, I collect a lot of everything. So that's my 100 sub special, guys. Let me know what you think about my, my cup collection, okay? Represent, period. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you have any special collections? What are, what are some things you all have? What are some things you all like to see from me? I have a ton of shit I can show off. I can show off my hats, my sunglasses, my shot glasses. I'm going to do my shot glasses. It's just I have a lot, <laughs> a lot of shot glasses. So that's going to be a whole production within itself. I can do my stuffed animals. Um... I have a lot. I have a ton of stuff. My book collection, because I got Harry Potter, um, Twilight, Goosebumps, like Pokemon book. Like, I have a lot. I have a lot. Y'all seen my bag collection. You all have seen my mask collection. I think those are the only two collections I've done so far. I can't remember. But anyways... <laughs> I love you guys. Thank you so much for the constant support. I'm not going anywhere as long as you guys aren't going anywhere. And as I stated at the beginning, let's 500. That's our next goal, right? 500. Um, I do plan on doing a sub special for every 100 new subscribers up until I hit a 1,000. Um, then we're probably just going to jump like every thousand or so. I don't know. I haven't gotten that far yet. I'm taking this step by step, day by day. I do have goals, but I'm here because I want to be and because I love you guys. So anyways, with that being said, monkey out. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.